So when was the last day of school for you? Today, yesterday, for a lot of my subscribers, sometime this week is the last day of their Form 5 life. <laughs> Let's suppose you have 10 more days to exam and you want to know how best to utilize those days to study for the exam. This is the ultimate study guide for CSEC Mathematics. I'm going to give you a practical, easy to use, explain exactly what I mean method to study up to your CSEC Maths exam. So let's suppose you have 10 more days for your exam and you want to know what best to aim at, what areas to study you hit the right video now this is a 10 day action plan but if you're watching this video two days before the exam one day i mean you could still watch the video and put in some of the strategies you just wouldn't be able to sleep right all right so before we start i'm going to give you the hardest thing one time that you need to do that most people wouldn't be able to do are you ready you're going to need to disable your facebook and your instagram wait 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 let me clarify what i mean let me clarify i'm not saying to delete your social media you don't need to do that for the very least you want to turn off the notifications of your social media when you're studying because you will be distracted just be honest with yourself you will be distracted so so go on the settings on your phone and turn off the notifications the best thing you could do is actually delete the app off your phone delete instagram delete facebook from off your phone you still have it on your laptop on your tablet whatever but the notifications wouldn't bug you down because what i'm about to hit you with you wouldn't have any time for distraction so if you can't do that you kind of feel the 10 day study guide there already all right so let me start 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 day one and day two you need to study question two question two question two is algebra you are going to spend all of day one and all of day two on just one question in the exam algebra why algebra is like the biggest foundational block of this mathematics that you're studying right now here numbers you want to make on day one you want to study from your textbook and do at least 200 questions on different topics in algebra what did he just say 200 yes bro 200 at least now this 10 day plan is going to be quote unquote stressful um some people respond differently to stress some people to break down and things so if you are one of those you should know yourself right you should know yourself but personally, stress, the concept of stress is something that motivates me, doesn't it? It causes me to eliminate dangerous things like procrastination, which is a whole next video by itself. Anyhow, let's keep going. So on the first day, the first thing you need to do actually on the first day is just check your multiple choice. Check a multiple choice pass paper, run through the whole pass paper and let the fact of how little you know scare you into putting in an extreme amount of work. Alright, so first day, 200 questions on algebra, all topics. And the second day, do not go to sleep unless you have done the last 10 years, at least, of algebra questions. May and January, past paper questions. Do not go to sleep unless you have the solution for all of that written down in your own handwriting. And you must understand it to degree. Day number three, consumer arithmetic construction. So you want to do question one. Simple thing like significant figures, scientific location, but you want to focus your bulk of time on consumer arithmetic, compound interest, them kind of weird things, big wages, bills, um, kilowatt hours, and them kind of thing. Exchange rate in money. Remember, in consumer arithmetic, the key is normally finding for one. Then on that very same day, you want to do as many construction questions as you can before you sleep. As many construction questions. This is a good time to make sure you have all the stationery in your maths exam, pens, pencil, calculator, everything. Make sure you have everything organized. Okay, Sensei, what next? What is for day 4? You want to dedicate day 4 to vectors and matrices, so you're going to skip. So we did question 2, question 1, question 3. You're going to skip to the last question in the paper, vectors and matrices, and you're dedicating this day to vectors and matrices. A quarter of the day, study theory, study your textbook. In the next three quarters of the day, you want to do actual past paper questions, work through as many as you can, maybe the last 10 years or more. Alright, so day number five is going to be a most grueling, toughest day. I want you to put in the most hours of work on day number five. You're going to study relations, functions, and graphs. 
this is a gigantic topic and you're studying it based on the first question in section 3 in your past papers or this is going to be question 8 in your new exam so making your business the top whatever day you made in terms of math studying let this be the number one day let us rank let relations and functions get the gold medal in terms of how much effort you put in now remember you have your other subjects to study for as well so you want to negotiate your time to suit the next thing about day number five is that you're halfway through this insane study guide so you want to take some time and recap back everything that you do before so maybe an hour or two just to recap recap by reading your notes and doing some of the tougher questions that you face over the five days do it once if you remember it on day number six six you want to study bearings tricks geometry that second to last question in your paper study that and in day number six you want to start memorizing formula by now you have a whole heap of formulas coming up the road so you want to start sectioning them off and studying those formulas on day number seven you want to do all the other questions all four five six seven except maybe um, the investigation question but all the rest you should be able to do that quickly within these days with as many past paper questions as possible because by doing the tougher questions on those previous days you'd kind of pull up um, those remaining questions and you'll be able to do and you should be able to revise through those topics a little quicker so on day number eight you want to cover the investigation question then you want to do two whole past papers maybe a past paper that you didn't do much that you kept aside for this do it then do a next past paper maybe try the specimen past paper in the syllabus do the whole thing sit down and do the whole past paper so you can leverage how much you know how much you don't know see whether it is you're still going and fail this thing try to do the past papers in exam conditions timing yourself just to see how things are on day number nine multiple choice only memorize all the formulae that you have from before list it out memorize it run through your notes go over the hard things from the days before write and rewrite try another past paper on day number 10 which might be the last day before the exam you want to get your body in the best shape for the exam so that your, your memory will be in the best shape now let me tell you something some people are different some people if they do work on this day they may be scatterbrained in the exam not me i can learn something one minute before the exam you tell me something brand new and i will go in the exam write it down immediately so i don't forget it one time and i good to go i can learn things right up to the exam so if you can do that you should know yourself but on day number 10 ideally you want to get sleep make sure you eat healthy them kind of thing you want to study from your notes it may not ideally be time to try and learn a huge huge new topic that just might not sit down well with you just review everything that you have done before from your own notes say your prayers and roll out to your exam all right so the reason i've done this video is right now my inbox on fire with people asking me this very same question for some reason so what to do if you think i could still make it you still have time you still have time right now it's not even 10 days before the exam when i upload this video so you still have time all right so i hope this study guide was of great use to you tell me what you found useful about it tell me if you find something that making sense tell me about your study guide what you plan on putting it into action hey it's all about execution eh? you need to overcome something called procrastination and win the battle against yourself to be able to do well